both Ranbir and Deepika and everyone on the set, the light boys, the crowd, everyone was getting very emotional. <laughs> no, like we've kept it open and everyone can jump in whenever you want. Hi. <laughs> Huh. Oh, oh no. Hum tamasha ka promotion karte. <laughs> that was the marketing team, clearly. <laughs> good one, na? Very good. See. Put put ke asa andar se. Give me a high five, bro. I, I, I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, uh, what? So basically, uh, it's uh, people. So which people are saying? Some people are saying. Online survey is saying that you and me are the next. Sh uh, we are the next Shahrukh and Kajol. High five. Wow, but uh, high five to that. But uh, having said that, I don't think nobody can be Shah Rukh and Kajol yeah. because they are amazing and we all have grown up to him. But uh, I, uh, I would really like to be called the first Deepika and Ranbir than the next somebody else. So let's stick to that. <laughs> <laughs> Deepika, uh, Deepika, don't ask me difficult questions. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Huh? Yeah. I <laughs> it's um hmm. see as an actor I think you draw from different places, uh different situation, different moods, uh, different experiences. And uh, of course it's tough. It's a tough situation within the film itself. It's it's a situation where um you're trying to say whatever little bit is there between these two people and you're just trying to hold on and you don't want to let go. Um, so it's, it's a tough situation within the film itself and yes, of course, it's, you know, it's difficult and um, practically also it's difficult because you don't always get like an okay take, uh, you know, in the first, maybe not. And, you know, so, so to sort of keep up that emotion through the day and to break down like that, I think, I don't, I can't remember the last time I had to break down completely and so much in a film, so of course it's exhausting and you have to draw from, you know, various experiences in your life. Actually, both Ranbir and Deepika and everyone on the set, the light boys, the crowd, everyone was getting very emotional. And uh, it was very tough. If you ask this question, if we go back into it, we'll get emotional right now also. <laughs> so I think we should move to the next question. <laughs> Sir, uh, Ranbir, you've got to... Uh, do you say... Do you have anything to say about this? Sir, about really the experience of I, I, shooting I, I, this song? Oh, experience of shooting the song. No, like I, uh, we, me and Deepika were discussing before, it was like a scene. It wasn't really like shooting a song. Uh, you know, it was... Uh, and what Deepika said, that holding on to the last... Uh, few things that you can in a relationship and and uh, and there were so many layers within layers that you know you wanted to show through just this hug and this parting of this hug that uh, you just made a song on that moment i think just the fact that you can conceive something like this was, was really wonderful and it was really beautiful to even perform it Start by saying romantic comedy. Just curious. Romantic there comedy? is comedy and there is romance, but there are so many other things that it does not really qualify as a romantic comedy. I think. Yeah, I wouldn't classify Tamasha as your quintessential 
romantic comedy in that sense. I think it has a, heart, a lot of heart and a lot of soul. Um, and it's very real, you know. And I think for a lot of us who are going to watch the film, I think there's a lot of reality, uh, there's a lot of truth within the film. So yes, I think the first, the Corsica and some of, and things like Matar Gashti are like the fun bits, but there's also a lot of uh, heart and soul in the film. So, so you was you were talking about the the sequence. Uh, see, I can't talk about other films. I can definitely tell you that in this film, um, there are scenes within the song. So exactly like Ranbir said, like even when we were shooting Agar Tum Saath Ho, for us we're not shooting a song sequence. We are actually shooting a scene because the the narrative moves forward. It's not like um, he's not the kind of filmmaker who. Um, suddenly breaks into a song and takes you to some fantasy land and then brings you back. It's not, this film doesn't allow for that more than anything else. I think it's very, very true to, to the moments and um, I think it kind of takes the story forward. So I don't think in this situation, yeah, no. But I'm trying to be the filmmaker that can break the narrative and just have a song. It's my aspiration. Yeah. Very, very. I mean, even like if you look at Heer to Badi Sad Hai, like we were discussing, it's, it's a sad, technically it's a sad situation. Uh, and you'll realize how sad it is when you see the film. But we're saying it through the lyrics and in a, in, a, in a sort of quirky, fun way without actually being, doing it in a typical sad song. I think the situation in the film would have easily allowed for that. We could have easily gone into making like a sad song that, you know. Um, but I think it's being true to what the film is also. Tamasha is something that, that talks about, can I say breaking stereotypes? and expressing it differently. And I think we were doing, expressing the mood of, of Tara very, very differently from how one would normally express that, something like that. Sir, what is your favorite uh, song in terms mm -hmm. of lyrics? In terms of lyrics, I think Tu Koi Aur Hai. Uh, I think, uh, uh, again, it's, it's a, such a tricky song to write uh, because uh, you're spelling out uh, a certain uh, uh, emotion or certain thing that's happening at that part in a film and, uh, in st and to not make it literal and to really make it a little bit uh, about the feeling of, of, a, of, of a character and the emotion, then actually putting it into words. And I think Rishad Bhai really does that really well. So I think Tu Koi Aure is my favorite song where lyrics are concerned. But also the simplicity of Agar Tum Saath Ho, uh, you know, you can't take that away from uh, that just because Tu Koi Aur Hai is, is, a, is, a, is a harder song to write. But a simple song like Agar Tum Saath Ho, uh, you know, which, which really cuts through and, and, and people really connect with. Uh, it's because of, of breaking the, uh, the poetry in, in words and, and just making it uh, so simple and, and, and so touching is also quite cool. Uh, 